Beep, what's up everybody? L-U-I. I like I have an eye actually to, to see some things. And last week we all saw that, that these two guys were photoshopping on a daily, although uh, it's not necessary because they look not that big even by natural standards. In my reckoning, they should not photoshop whatsoever because these guys are, are small for for what the, all the vitamins and the creatine they, they consume. But uh, proceed, uh, uh, shall we? Uh, this is Rich Piana. I love this guy. He is an outspoken guy, quite honest. He speaks openly about all his type of consumption of all kinds uh, of stuff. He posted these uh, pictures uh, lately, right? I'm going to come back to them in, in uh, much uh, details because I absolutely do think that Photoshop is, is a craze these days. This is uh, real, actually, uh, non-Photoshop or so. Uh, I hope, actually. I hope it's not Photoshopped. Uh, Jeff uh, Said, and this is uh, obviously uh, a touched up uh, ever so greatly uh, picture. The difference is absolutely uh, startling. These games are absolutely Adobe Photoshop Acrobat 2.0 version. Saluted be. Now, with all due respect, Rich Piana, although he is already big, like freaking 285, there is an obvious uh, gravity. Uh, I mean, light bending attraction, a freaking black hole, a singularity that is so big that basically objects have to submit and recede and literally bend next to his shoulder boulder. This door has absolutely no chance. It had to bend next to his marvelous 3D, I mean, sorry, 4K shoulder. Proceed, <laughs> shall we? Uh, same picture uh, posted 24 hours ago, this time around, the very light, one of the strength of this very reality, this matrix, it had to bend next to his quasar, this is a massive black hole, that is his shoulder, so the matter, the very matter, has to be distorted, and even the shadows are fleeing, the very essence, the very presence of his boulder shoulder, 285. Now, on record, Rich Piana, as I mentioned prior, he's an outspoken person. Clearly, he said that he consumed all kind of freaking gear. You name it, he tested the freaking out of it. On record, freaking GH wrote, I mean, even the freaking dictionary, he took it, bro. He also injected PMMA, which is a different substance that basically pretty much uh, more or less, as far as I know, it creates kind of scar tissue inside your muscle so they look bigger. Freaking scar tissue or collagen, name it, whatever. He uh, also experimented with synthol on record with a video with uh, our friend uh, Jerry Ward. Uh, talking about Jerry Ward, in one of his videos, he confessed quite openly that he probably has what we call big o Rexia. Now, big Rexia is a freaking complex in your freaking head that makes you think you're always small, no matter how much you, you're big. You're freaking big, like freaking 400 pounds. There is a dude that did an interview with him from the UK. Dude is like freaking 370. He wants to reach 400 pounds by all means necessary. Now, the motto of Rich Piana is uh, whatever it takes. So he's doing whatever. Obviously, he's doing Photoshop here. Right, that is Photoshop with this picture, and he took all kind of substances. He said that freaking he took growth hormone, bro. His head has grown in size after ten years. His foot uh, has grown from a uh, size, if I do mistake, if I'm not mistaken, if I do recall, from size eleven to size fifteen. His hands has grown. So imagine the internal organs. There is growth there. Uh, nonetheless, uh, let's take a look at this, bro. And what, what is worrying me the most? What are these red dots? I mean, Rich Piana, bro, are you freaking exploding with all the shit you took? I mean, in these muscles, I mean, you injected all kinds of stuff, right? Now, some said uh, uh, those are probably uh, tattoo to, uh, touch ups. Bro, I don't see them in the tattoos. This is like real skin. This is skin. There is no tattoo here and it is just exploding, bro. I mean, for real. Uh, let's take a look at it real quick. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger, if I may. One day you may, bro. I'm gonna try this one here. What, that are, you know, you see that, those red dots here? I mean, uh, look here, I don't know, man. You tell me what's up. Try to make this a little bit bigger, bro. 
Now here, as far as I see guys, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't see a freaking presence of tattoo. These are not tattoo, this is like regular skin, virgin skin, and there is blood coming out of it. Same here, I mean, do you see a freaking tattoo here? Like in this red spot here? Or this one, or this one, or this one? This one here, this one actually goes inside the freaking tattoo. It's like a line, dark line, and whatever bro, God bless you. I hope you're doing okay, man. But listen, uh, Rich Piana, since you are quite outspoken and you speak quite openly and eloquently, that's why that's why I salute you. And I made a video about you, mentioned that you're probably uh, the most honest bodybuilder out there because you said it as it is. Last time you competed was in 1999 in the MPC, as far as I know. You were the biggest guy, 275 on stage. The second biggest guy, which uh, was uh, Palombo, right? Palombo, as you said, he was like 268. He didn't win. It's probably back then, uh, well, uh, he did not <laughs> agree or basically he was not loved by the MPC, but that's another story. Anyway, you were the biggest guy. You were not successful as a bodybuilder. You never made, it, never made it to IFBB Pro, but bro, and you recognize that you have probably some big orexia. Now you have the money, you have richness and whatever. Bro, why don't you, with all respect, I mean, you're probably my age, a little bit older than, than me by a year or two. Uh, bro, seriously. You probably confessed as well that what you all what you have done was somehow detrimental in the long run for your life expectancy. Now I'm not, you know, everybody can die tomorrow. Me, I can walk on the street. I can get hit by a car. But bro, we're still into this bitch right now in this matrix. Why don't you, bro, go ahead and try to to address the bigorexia that you spoke about openly uh, with Jerry Ward on a video? I think, I genuinely do believe, bro, you have big orexia and you are pre pretty much digging your own tomb with this quest of being big at whatever it takes. Your heart is a freaking organ. It is still human inside, bro. I don't care. I mean, you might have like eyes looking like freaking a reptilian, but you're still human. And you're like 42 or 43. You want to add like 30 pounds in freaking uh, a month or two or whatever. I mean, you, you have a heart inside. I mean, will it, will it work? Will it take all this kind of mass? Not only that, and you, you're adding size by Photoshop. Bro, uh, God bless you. Uh, I salute you, bro. But if I was you, I don't have advice to give you, but for, for God's sake, I don't want to make a rest in peace video down the road saying that this guy was big and then he went away. God bless you. I don't wish you that. I wish you well. But we, for God's sake, for yourself, for your family, for your fans, try to address the big orexia that you are suffering. Try to, to comprehend and, and, and know that for your safety, for your, for your, uh, for your own, uh, basically, salute, be, uh, be uh, below 250 pounds. Although that seems, I know it is probably insulting for you, right or frightening in a sense frightening is the world but for god's sake you need for your salvation you need to be below even 220 for the rest of your life if you want to have a to expand your life and diminish the consequences of all that you have done in the past because by your own words you have taken all kind of array of substances baby please and that are absolutely detrimental for your life expectancy that's what's up through to wherever you are. Don't forget to like the video, guys, and tell me what you guys think uh, about this situation. And bear to know. I mean, these guys are, are like freaking, I don't know, like below 200. I mean, these two guys, and yet they Photoshop uh, their pictures. So freaking big orexia happens at every level, guys. Every level. Small guys, big guys, they all have self-image pictures. And most of them Photoshop pictures, you will notice, when they are with somebody like this one, <laughs> there is a guy behind him. So uh, by default, he went ahead and basically Photoshop uh, this shoulder. Same goes with uh, this guy. There was a guy here next to him, right? Next thing you know, he had basically the shoulder all of a sudden, boom. And same happened uh, last week with Jeff Said. He was next to uh, Chess Bra, he photoshopped himself, and Chess Bra himself also photoshopped himself. So everybody's photoshopping. Salute you wherever you are. These guys are absolutely Adobe. Don't forget to like the video, share it, and subscribe to the LUI, bruh.